Welcome everyone, it's Mohsen from Fundridge Tool and today I am going to show you how can you use Uniprod database for enrichment analysis. On the left side of the software there is a section called Manage Database. Here you can choose the source of database. Fundridge database which is a human only database embedded in this tool is selected by default. If you want to use Uniprod database for enrichment analysis, you will have to select Uniprod as database source. To do that, you have to click on Manage, then click Change, then select Uniprod database, and then click on the button Confirm. Now you have to download or select a Uniprod database file. To do that, you have to click Configure Uniprod. Here you can see that no Uniprod database is selected and the list of saved Uniprod database is empty. To add Uniprod database in this list, you have to click Add Uniprod database. Now you can select the species for which you want to download Uniprod database and then click Download. Uniprod database for the selected species will be downloaded and saved in a folder called Download inside the folder of Fundridge Tool. Now download is complete and decompression is also complete. Now we can click Close. Now we can see Archaea is on the list of Saved Uniprod Databases Another way to add Uniprod Database in this list is to go to Uniprod website by clicking here and then download the file you want. After downloading the file, you have to include the file in this software. To do that, you have to click Browse and select the file you have downloaded, for example Uniprod Sprot Viruses then click open. This will decompress the file and include the file in this software. Now you can see in the list of saved Uniprod databases there are two files. One is for Archaea and other is for viruses. Now I am selecting Archaea and then clicking the button select. Now the database for Archaea has been activated. Now I am going to add some data sets. For demonstration purpose, I have some random Uniprot accession IDs. I am going to copy them. I am going to click add data set and paste. And give a name for the data set. For example, data set 1. And I am clicking apply. You can see there are 12 proteins in this data set. Now I am going to add another data set. But right now I am going to use. I am selecting several entry names and copy. Then add data set. Giving a name for the data set. Data set 2 and paste. And clicking apply. Here you can see. I have entered 22 entry names but 25 proteins are identified because few of those entry names are associated with multiple proteins. Now I am going to add another data set but right now I am going to put some gene symbols. Copy, paste. I am giving a name for the data set, data set 3 and apply. So we can see that I gave only 2 gene symbols but 64 proteins were identified from those 2 gene symbols. Whenever you use Uniprod database, all the entries are converted to proteins. If you want to see the list of 64 proteins, you have to click export excel then select the data set and click ok and save the excel file 
in this excel file you can see that 56 proteins are identified for the gene symbol cmk and 8 proteins are identified for the gene symbol cat g enrichment analysis summaries are available in the other worksheets for example cellular component molecular functions and biological process now i am closing the excel file now if you click venn diagram it will show you a venn diagram but it's not showing the common items properly because dataset 1 is uniprot taxation id dataset 2 is uniprot entry name and dataset 3 is gene symbol but what we really want is to know common proteins of those datasets to find that you have to go to option venn chart and check this checkbox venn diagram for genes protein identified in database and click apply now you can see that these data sets are indicating number of proteins identified not number of terms you have entered and we can see total 19 proteins are common to data set 2 and data set 3 and 10 proteins are common to data set 1 and data set 2 that is all for today's session thank you for listening have a good day